Hello, welcome to the cassette review. I'm Glyph Dice, and today we're reviewing Dreams by Winter Sleep, which is an alias of the well known artist James Webster, who's also a part of Death's Dynamic Shroud.wmv. In length, this album is just over 40 minutes long and is dubbed on a C45 cassette tape. It costs £9 plus shipping. It was released on Dream Catalog, making it the first solo release by the artist on this label. So let's get to it. Here is the front, here is the side, and here is the back. So first thing to notice is that the front is not the exact same as the digital, it's slightly different I think, uh, they just changed it so that they could fit the key elements like uh, the chair and the moon and the TV into the frame without kind of cutting it off uh, like the digital release would if they just tried to make a J card out of that. Uh, it's really nice and colorful. A uh, low huge range of colors on it, and I really, really like it. Um, the spine is a little bit dull. I think it could have been spiced up to have a bit of color, sort of like uh, the way Plus One Hundred do it, where they put a color gradient on the top. But uh, it's still nice. Um, and the back, of course, is just a continuation as Dream Catalog usually does. So let's get to the tape. Case opens pretty fine, no problem there. Uh. Here is the A side, and here is the B side. So first thing is that it's on like a white tape, and I think that's really, really good. It goes with the winter sort of theme that it has it, sort of Christmassy a bit theme that uh, the music has. Um, the stickers are the exact same, there's no kind of change, and it's the exact same one on the cover. I'm surprised they didn't really go to a bit more lengths to have a slightly different uh stickers on it but uh that's okay so something that's weird and us quite unusual for dream catalog is that for a solid uh color uh tape the uh screen in the middle here is hard plastic instead of soft so i'm really surprised but very happy that they have sort of moved over to that it's really really good uh i contact dream catalog and they say they haven't changed the company that does their tapes so i guess maybe they've just stepped up which is really great um, tape leader, of course, just a nice light blue and also kind of helps with the winter theme if you're looking for it. But uh, apart from that, pretty good, pretty solid tape. We'll move on to the reverse J card, which is kind of a surprise for me because as you can see, this is upside down so that you can use it as a reverse J card, which I think this might be the first and only time that uh that dream catalog have done this usually they just have some art and track listings uh done over it and when you look at it up from upside down of course but uh, i really like it and it gives that it's really thematic and gives that soundtrack sort of tape theme really nice that I, I always love it when they do that like trying to emulate that uh like audio sort of stuff um really nice i think could have had a little bit more work but it is really good so that is pretty much it for this. Uh, this is in stock. They made 200 tapes in the first batch, and once that sells out, they will be making more, which is really cool. Uh, quite different for Dream Catalog, who would usually just do one batch, maybe 100 or 150, so I'm really happy about that. Uh, you can also get it on Bleep if you want, uh, but I would advise buying off the Bandcamp page since you are able to play it through the app on your phone then if you ever want to. So uh, in the end, I would give this an 8.5 out of 10. It's very solid and definitely a step up in tape quality for Dream Catalog. Um, I think the design needed a little bit more variety or work to bump it up to a nine, but overall, I definitely say it's a very, very good tape. So that's been the tape review. Thanks for watching and goodbye.